okay I just wanted to uh, there's a couple of tools here that I'm not sure whether people know um, what they do um, <coughs> uh, if you're in the default um, settings it's lattice um, shear and bend um, if you can't see them in your command panel then untick um, basic mode or get the full version I think there'd be two options so um, we'll look at shear first because it's kind of quite useful for this particular um, scenario so I'm going to select these verts here and what I wanted to do was just pull pull them back um, if you left click and drag and pull that line and then you can pull that back like so so that's fairly straightforward um, the other one I wanted to show was uh, lattice now it's pretty useful lattice um, I'll just show you in this situation if you press fit and then modify and then you just need to select a portion of the cage um, and it will move things proportionally for you so that's all I really wanted to do so it's kind of a quite a subtle effect but it's quite difficult to do with um, you know with scale you have to scale each bit and so on and so forth so um, so those two are useful for that part um, and then continuing on with this hand um, uh, obviously I cloned a few fingers and, and rescaled them um, and the third one here is, um, is uh, bend which is very similar to, to shear um, same operation left click and drag that line and I just wanted to subtly pull those fingers around in a in a curve like that so um, so that was that really and just to show you um, that in a perhaps more useful um, scenario it's kind of good for bangles and and things like that so um oops. so select what you uh, what you need and then you can um, you can bend it right around into a circle more or less um, there's no numbers with it so it's not that accurate but uh, it takes a bit of getting used to as well but um, you can do that kind of thing because um, it's kind of a lot easier to work do your work and then bend it round rather than trying to put the holes in it's a bit low poly this actually um, putting the holes in after so yeah it's uh, that's quite a useful one as I say for bangles and, and things like that so you can do that kind of uh, kind of thing so that was just an introduction to those tools really that's all that was so there you go